Hi, I'm Rosalyn Higgin with the Air Quality Bureau, and we're going to go over how to log into AIR. And I have Sean Leister on the line. Hello, everyone. I'm also with Air Quality Bureau in the Missions Inventory Department. Um, nice to meet you. So let me show my screen. The first thing you should do, you should see my screen. We are at the New Mexico Environment Department home screen. We're gonna, I'm going to click on Air for Air Quality Bureau. Scroll down on the right, it says NMED Air Quality Bureau. Click on that. And let's take the shortcut. You can click on inventory. If you see the sentence, we inventory emissions from industrial services, industrial sources. I'm clicking on that. And it will take you to the home page for emissions inventory. For more information about the 2020 minor source emissions inventory, you can click on this link right here. But we right now are going to talk about how to get access. So we are going to click on. It should be the top right. This one, this one. Yes. Here is information about submitting your emissions inventory. OK, great. And so now we are at the emissions inventory submittal page. Now you want to click on this, how to access air. Click on that. We have a Word document. Some information. information. So I want to go over this briefly. There's three user roles that we use in air, which stands for the air emissions inventory reporting tool, it's online. The three roles are facility administrator, certifier, preparer slash submitter. So facility administrator is the role that approves and disapproves preparer, submitters and certifiers. The preparer submitter is usually in most cases a consultant unless the company is small then it's somebody from the company which is fine the certifier role is the person should be somebody from the company for emissions inventory submittals it's normally a company official an owner an operator or the ro is absolutely fine so what's really what's happened here is that the ESAA form that you're very familiar with, some of you, the electronic subscriber application form, we're not using it anymore unless um, in certain cases. So it is being substituted, substituted. with eManage for identification verification through LexisNexis. Okay, so let's go to how to gain access to air so for the first step you want to click into this link and we're just going to do snapshots for this and this link takes you to the sup extranet portal the secure extranet portal and you want to click on register okay right here if you click on this, click here to register, that brings you a list of all the applications. You see there's a very long list, but you're only interested in air. So you click on the link in the orange banner, and it will bring up this page. You enter your information, and you can submit it. And then you will receive this as an email saying thank you for your request. You should receive an email notification soon. Please contact M NMED if you experience any kind of a problem. So that would be either Sean or me. And Sean, do you want to take over from here? Uh, yes. Yes. So this is an email. 
example that you did. There's a blue link here, but the links will be unique to your email address, which is highlighted in yellow right here. And then can you scroll down, Rosen? Yes. Thank you. All right, so if you click on that link in your email, you'll be brought to this profile information page where you can just give us some details about who you are and your user ID as well. So just fill this out and click on the create a user profile button at the bottom of the page. And then can you scroll a bit more down? Thank you. Yes. Um, great, and then after you click on that create user button, you'll be brought to this application webpage where you can register for different applications relating to the New Mexico Environment Department. So for this tutorial, we are only focusing on AIR, which is the Air Emissions Inventory Reporting, and it's our tool to submit your emissions inventory to us. And if you click on the register button on the right-hand column here, highlighted in yellow, you'll be able to register for AIR, and we can approve you to do so. You'll get this web page saying that your application registration is complete and that you'll be notified via email. Um, and feel free to contact us if you need any further assistance. And so then, get, oh. I'll go ahead. Okay. Once you get an email from us, you will be, you will have another link in there and you can click on that. It'll request that you enter a new password since we gave you a default password. So just be sure to choose a secure password. And you'll also be asked to answer some questions for security. So just be sure to remember these for future reference. So at this point, you will receive an email um, with an ID and your password and you can log into air and this is the first page that you'll see and this is called the splash page this is what it's going to read for 2020 it gives you some important information so don't forget to look over all of these our contact information and to register for the facilities or for any roles not just additional but like facility admin click on this blue bar. It's also here, takes you to the same place. And it takes you, it brings you to this page and you select your organization and your name should show up. I, I'm sorry, the different roles will show up and you click on the one that you want. Click on register for selected facilities and so uh, a note that we will review your request and approve you as facility admin for the organization if that's what you've requested and after that if you are facility admin then anybody requesting to become a certifier or a submitter slash preparer can do so and you, the facility admin, is then responsible for approving the certifier and submitters. Is that correct, Sean? Yes, that's yes. how Okay, good. And do you want to wrap it up? Sure thing. So you can, in this page, you can register for multiple facility roles at the same time. So when you click on um, register for this facility, uh, another link will pop up saying you can complete your registration. And you can click on that link at any time after you've registered for everything you need to register for, for all of your different facilities. And then you'll, we'll send, or it'll send an email to us and we can approve you to be facility admin for those facilities. And then you'll be notified and you can continue on with your emissions inventory. Which would take you back up 
to this page right here. So then when you click into this page again, your facilities that you registered for as facility admin will appear. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, they sh once you become a facility admin for our facilities, those facilities should appear in this middle section called facility emissions reporting. So that's another way for you to find out if you're actually an admin or not. And if you don't have a facility in there that you did register for, just contact us and we'll be sure to fix it. And to quickly go over this, so if you click on this drop down, it says all and minor and major, but we recommend that you stay in all for facility source classification. And then you, your facilities will all be listed here under facility. You click on the one that you want to create a new emissions inventory for. And then you may have to wait a couple of seconds and then the re reporting year will appear and you will type in 2020. That's if you're entering it manually. Or this is where you can upload the XML browser. I'm sorry, uh, the XML file. But we'll have more on that in our next video. Meanwhile, thank you. And if you have any questions, you can contact us.